Hey guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about childhood games, most specifically top 5 of my childhood games that I used to play and that I grew up with. Some I still play today, some I don't, but I figured this video idea would be interesting since a lot of us come from different generations, some of us are older, some of us are younger, so I figured I should talk about my games that I used to play. Before starting this video I would like to say that I was born in 2002, currently I am 20 years old, so all these games are probably going to be from their area and up and I grew up in Bosnia and Herzegovina which is a third world country so a lot of the games that you maybe played we don't we didn't even have in our country anyway without further ado let's get started at the number five we have Tarzan action game now it was probably around six when I was playing this and this was one of my you know serious official game that I was just playing all the time on my old dad's computer I gotta say the game was pretty fun it was I still remember to this day and just looking at this made me feel really nostalgic and it just made me happy again for some reason but I haven't seen this game ever since you know I, I only played it once when I was six and that's about it pretty much it's a game where you do parkour and when you and you collect coins and stuff and you just it's kind of like a super mario basically but i don't think you save anyone at the end you just either die or complete the level but this game was pretty fun i didn't play for that much long i want to say maybe a year or so uh, and then after that I just completely stopped playing it, but yeah fun game overall And when it comes to the rating of the game, I would rate it a 6 out of 10 to be honest It, it can be perfect, but it's not perfect, but it's still fun and I mean plus I was a kid so I didn't know much uh, But yeah, it's it was a fun game overall Coming up at the number 4 we have Wolfenstein Return to the Castle. Now this was actually a really fun game to play and kind of very very scary. At the time my dad was playing this game as well so he kind of you know walked me through the gameplay and just taught, taught me how to play the game overall. If you don't know about the game it's pretty fun you basically have to fight a bunch of ghosts and there's some places where you fight off people as well uh, but at the end the boss that you fight is a ghost and he's kind of very very very, very difficult to uh, beat. I never actually beaten it myself, but I know my dad has beaten it a bunch of times. And just hearing the sound effects from this game just gives me super, super big nostalgia. And the graphics were kind of very decent, not gonna lie. Reminds me of CS 1.6. But yeah, overall, I would give this game a solid 9 out of 10, and I might even play it today if I can download it. If you haven't played it yourself, I would 100% recommend. If you're like, if you like old techie games, uh, this one definitely takes the cake and it is very very nice. Coming up at the number 3 we have Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Now this was a game that I absolutely loved and that I played all all the time and I remember always after school uh, coming home I was like oh my gosh I can't wait to play this game. This is probably one of the best Need for Speeds that I ever played and I play, I want to say all of them, not really all of them, but the newer ones. And I can definitely say that I miss the old feel of the of this game. The new Need for Speeds, in my opinion, are, you know, they're not the same anymore. This, this, this Need for Speed was, you know, how Need for Speed should be like and how it should feel. Um, but yes, overall, uh, this game is very nice. And I love the fact that they used real people as characters, you know, with just green screen. T to some people, it might be weird, but to me, it was actually really cool. And and, you know for the, for what the game is I really really love it the graphics of the game are also really nice uh, they feel old but they're very very nice and uh, I definitely have to say that I, I love play this game and I would love to play it again overall this game gets a 10 out of 10 no questions asked and if you haven't played this need for speed I would 100% recommend to play it if you're the type of person that likes car games and racing Coming up at the level 2, we have Counter-Strike 1.6. Now as well, this is one of the games that I absolutely loved to play, and I played a lot, a lot of it. And I still play CSGO to this day, even CS 1.6, and just the feel of the game and the old graphics is amazing. Although I do have to say that uh, I did play more of Zombie Escape version. It's a mod where you basically run from zombies and complete a map. And I definitely played this more than the actual competitive game that is 5v5. And I also played the Death Run, or the Dead Run, how you want to call it. 
It's basically a parkour where a ter terrorists basically activate traps and you have to pass through them and whoever is the last guy to pass the traps gets to kill the terrorist and then you're the next terrorist. Overall 1.6 is such a fun game and I play it to this day. Although there's not that many servers now and hackers are just everywhere sadly but the game is still pretty fun and I mean if you haven't played it I would recommend it but I mean by now I'm sure that most of you did play the game. And coming up at the level 1, the most recent game that I played and I still play, Minecraft. Now this is such an amazing game and I just love how you can play the game and not feel old, to say it like that. Uh, the game is very fun and even though I played it for so so long, the game is still very nice and exploring caves is definitely still fun. Uh, and of course playing it on some servers with friends is very nice. Uh, Minecraft also gets a 10 out of 10, no questions asked, and I'm pretty sure m most of you play this game. But hey, it's an amazing game and you can do whatever you want in it. But that was my list of the top 5 games I used to play as a kid and some of them I still play to this day. I went from the oldest to the newest game that I play, I placed them in that order. But yeah, this was a very fun video to make and kind of like a time travel for me because most of these games I haven't seen in a while, especially the Tarzan and the Wolfenstein, I miss those two games so so much. And I just wanted to say how the games and the gaming world has evolved. I mean the games that I play today are just amazing and the graphics are you know something that I can only dream about when I was a kid so this new generation that you know of kids that play these games they don't know how it was you know for you know for us maybe you played Nintendo 64 and you know those graphics were amazing to you um, and it's just funny how you know today's today's games are just you know way way on another level anyway that's it from me guys I hope you enjoyed uh, let me know what you think and yeah I shall catch you in the next video and remember keep on gaming